With a string of primary losses in big industrial states, and with the exception of Florida, poor showings throughout the South, Gary Hart needs a victory in next month's North Carolina primary. And he says recent polls which show him neck and neck with his principal opponent, Walter Mondale, indicate he has a fighting chance to win. There is no single state that is a make or break state, but I think this is an important state. This is a state that I believe this candidacy can do very well in. His mission is to build a winning coalition. So today he wooed the black vote, a vote he hasn't been able to capture in past primaries. And he appealed to young voters, a group that has embraced him from the start. At a church in Durham, he met with black community leaders out of earshot of reporters. And to a predominantly black crowd gathered in the chapel, the senator from Colorado spoke words guaranteed to appeal. Equal justice, social justice, equal opportunity. Hart's call for a new industrial policy, an end to U.S. involvement in Nicaragua, and increased federal support for education was received warmly by his audience. But it was here in Chapel Hill, Hart's last stop of the day, where he received his most enthusiastic reception. The students and young professionals in this university town are exactly the type of voters who first responded to the Hart candidacy. His call for a new vision and new leadership struck a responsive chord with this young crowd. This country cannot stand four more years of Reaganomics for the rich. Hart plans to visit North Carolina again before the primary. He knows already that much of the black vote will go to Jesse Jackson, but he feels if he can sway enough black voters to join his youthful supporters, he just could win. Bill Whitaker, WBTV News, Chapel Hill.